easy Shopify dropshipping hack to boost your conversions for free. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be going over a simple tool that you can utilize to boost your conversions and sales on your Shopify dropshipping store all for free. So I'm going to be going through in today's video how to get that set up on your store, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, be sure to do so. We're going to jump in the computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Alrighty guys, so we are now in the computer. The tool that we're going to be going over today is a checkout countdown timer. So effectively this adds scarcity to your checkout when customers are going through their cart, they're entering in their information and they're going to the shipping method and all that kind of stuff. This is basically a little order uh, checkout timer that allows them like, hey, you should check out. We're also gonna be offering them a discount code here, which I'm gonna be pasting in and showing you how to do that here. But basically to get to this website, you're gonna wanna search for conversion pirate it, which all it does is takes you to this article. This is the article that you'll probably find here with the little Deadpool uh, meme here. So that is the article here. Conversion Pirate gives you this tool. It's completely free. All you have to do, I think, is enter in your email address on here, and then they should come up with this with the link here after you enter your email. You go ahead and click the link for the tool, and there is the tool. It's not an actual app. It's just a, a tool that allows you to copy and paste some code that we're going to be adding into our website. And trust me, it's super easy to add to your store. Like it's not difficult. You don't really have to know code. You're just going to be pasting it in one section on your store settings, which I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So all we have to do here is come here to conversion pirate. Once you get to here, um, this is basically what you're going to be adding. Like I said, it also adds trust badges. If you want those there, you can also select to take those off as well on this tool, which I I've done on my stores just because it looks a little spammy. If you have trust badges in the checkout center as well, especially because these trust badges look a little scammy as well. So I would probably get rid of them. All you have to do to do that in the code is just to uh, deselect this. You could also, um, I think you can select different badges if you want uh, other badges, if you wanted to do that. I think you, yeah, so you could select like to have um, different types of badges there, but I would personally just disable the badges if I were you, uh, just because they look a little bit spammy and all that kind of stuff. Not something I really like too much. So after you disable the checkout badges, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is come up to the top here because we can actually edit the text that comes up here. So instead of just having it as just the countdown timer, we're also going to be offering a discount code for people to incentivize them to actually check out. So what I would recommend that you guys do is to do a save 5% because if you do more than 5%, it's a little bit too much money that you're going to be discounting people on the store. So I recommend just doing a save 5% code um, and it will load in here in a second. Uh, but we have to just wait for that to uh, load. The next thing under the time stamp, which you guys can just copy exactly what I'm putting in this video here because see, as it goes, now it just loaded. Um, instead of the, uh, in the next X amount of minutes, we're going to be putting um, the code here in brackets in time. Because as you can see here on screen, it has the brackets time. So you're gonna wanna then paste that over in the same spot where it had the next X amount of minutes because this is code. So you instead of the uh, minutes here, you're gonna wanna then put the uh, time. So as you can see here, your order is reserved for blank time minutes. So this is a uh, constant timer. It also tracks the cookies on the website so that as people continue through the checkout, um, it does follow them. So it doesn't like reset every time they click the next button. It actually loads with them so that the timer is uh, live and effective because that would be weird if it reset to 10 minutes every single time someone clicks, oh, continue shipping method. Oh, continue here. And they're like, wait, what? This is fake. It's like, it will actually look legitimate as long as you make sure that then to put the time here. So just make sure you put that timestamp. We're going to go ahead and delete this section and then it will load back in here. Um, I may have to just hit generate code and add it to the store, but it should um, do the live update here in a second. But basically this is what you're going to be doing, which I'm gonna be showing you how to actually add the discount code as well uh, in your store. But we're gonna be doing save five just because it's a simple uh, discount code. And by adding an extra 5% off your order, it definitely incentivizes people to check out. Um, and it's definitely increased conversion rates. It definitely works. So I'd recommend you use this. Um, don't just put the timer, also put the 5% off because I mean, if someone comes to checkout and they see, oh man, there's a timer and a discount code, well, I gotta make sure I, I hit enter that discount code and take advantage of this opportunity. So it's a little bit of scarcity, but not too spammy. So that's the whole thing with scarcity that a lot of people don't understand with, with this 
with this like tool, it allows you to it, uh, insert scarcity without looking too spammy. So that's why I personally really like it. So anyway, to move along here, once you have that, then you go ahead and put that in there. You have the time thing. Make sure that you do that. You're going to have to change out this to make sure that you put in the bracket uh, with time so that it will um, insert. This will be then inserted here. Uh, so once you go ahead and do that, uh, you can just leave the after countdown text as order reservation ended. That's fine. And we're going to go ahead and click generate code. So now this may look really confusing, right? All this code. We're going to go ahead and do something before we actually go ahead and copy and paste that. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to our Shopify store. This store is actually just a test store that I used for the course it's, uh, Frenchie Life. So uh, anyway, if you're just wondering what the store was, but we're going to go over to sales channels, click online store, and then under that is preferences. So under preferences, uh, we're going to scroll down to Google Analytics. So we need Google Analytics because that allows us to then paste in this custom code from Conversion Pirate. So we're gonna go ahead and get a Google Analytics code and the way that you do that, cause you're probably like, well, how do I get Google Analytics? It's actually very simple. They actually give you a tutorial as well from Shopify, but all you have to do is search for Google Analytics on Google uh, and then come down to Google Analytics. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make an account on here just so that we can enter and paste in this code. So. On here, um, I guess we're just going to go ahead and put in uh, frenchylife.myshopify.com. So you're going to put in your website here. This also allows you to track uh, stuff on your website. Um, if you don't already have this in, I would recommend having Google Analytics because it allows you um, to track th uh, things that happen on your website where visitors are coming from. So it's definitely a good thing to have. Uh, I'm just going to select... Uh, da, 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 hobbies and leisure. I mean, this stuff really isn't super important, I guess, but we're going to go ahead and click get tracking ID. So this is the most important aspect here is getting the tracking ID because that's what we have to paste then into. So once this all loads up here, this is what we need, the tracking ID. Okay, so we need to paste, copy that. Um, you can go in and look at all the other specifics with Google Analytics. That We're not really going over Google Analytics in this video, but you do need it in order to get this uh, this tool working, okay? So we're going to go ahead and paste in that code here. Once we have that saved, uh, then it will load in there. So now we have the ability to add a custom JavaScript. So this is the custom JavaScript that we have generated here from Conversion Pirate, and we just go ahead and copy this code here. Go ahead and copy that there and then paste it into here and we hit save and now the tool is on our website which I'm going to be going into the store and showing you what it looks like so we're going to go ahead and go to the website now frenchylife.myshopify.com okay cool we're going to go look through the products oh, wow so many cool products no way we're going to go ahead and go to the dog carrier and so as you can see $25.95 going to go ahead and add this to cart right so we're going through here okay then we're going to go ahead and click checkout and now on the checkout page, it will actually come up once it loads. As you can see right here, use the discount code SAVE5 in the next, as you can see, it has the timer in the next uh, X amount of minutes and save an extra 5% off your order. So I definitely recommend using that um, because it's going to increase your conversions. Now, if you're wondering how to actually create the discount code, it's very simple. All you have to do is come to your store and go ahead and click on discounts. And so this is how you actually create the code because you can you can type it here, but if you don't actually have it as a real discount code option on your store, obviously it's not going to work. So you need to go ahead and create a discount on your uh, Shopify store dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and click or type in save five. Okay, discount percent is just five percent. I'm going to leave an entire order, leave that the same. Everybody, no usage limit. We're going to go ahead and click save discount. So now it is active on our store. The actual save five discount. So if we refresh this page, it should see, as you can see, it comes up with a discount. If we go ahead and type in save five and we apply that to our checkout, as you can see, the discount works, save five, um, with takes off an extra dollar off the order. So it may not be a lot of extra money that people are really taking off their order. So it's not going to affect your overall profit margin too much. It's actually just going to save you a lot of abandoned carts. So definitely recommend introducing this um, free. This it's a free tool to use in your stores. So I definitely recommend using it. If you want to learn more about how to build a profitable Shopify business, I've linked to my course down in the description box below, as well as a Shopify 14-day free trial to get yourself started. Feel free to check out the videos beside me. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the free Facebook Mastermind group. Follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked down in the description box below. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.